That's kind of freaky. So this bloke next to me starts building his GDR, he goes, I'm going to get this thing back on the road and then just buggers off overseas for work. So I found out he was in Adelaide, so I've just gone and kidnapped him because apparently the GDR runs and drives. Hello, Andrew. Hi, Mark. How are you? <laughs> this is like the dumbest intro to a YouTube video. Uh, anyway. We're Frank the Tanking it today. And it is raining. So, yeah, so what's going on? Um, I know you work in, like, you know, yeah, garbage disposal and stuff like that, so it's all top secret, but um, what's going on? Why, why are you... Um, why did you disappear? What's, what can you tell us? Not a whole lot. For work reasons, I'm not in Adelaide anymore, but had the opportunity to be down here for a, a week or so. And uh, thought whilst I'm here, I might as well drive that GTR that you uh, eloquently explained that I set a goal, achieved the goal, and now would like to drive it some more. Nice. And of course, when you got a GTR that makes four or 500 kilowatts or something like that, uh, driving in the rain's perfect. Especially when it's on really old tyres. <laughs> yeah. It'll be as much fun as it always is. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, I don't know whether that charger's got something wrong with it. Or yeah. just the owner. Yeah. We made soon enough. So, like the last time we came in here and filmed all this, and there were spider webs and crap everywhere. And then we went and did all sorts of stuff. Like, Andrew did 99% of the work, but I welded a couple of things for him. Some GK Tech bits and pieces, all the fuel system got ripped out, all got replaced, so it's got all radium stuff in it and bits and pieces. Well, that's better, there's some light now. And he also took all the graphics off it, so it just looks like a road car now. Mm. What are these, Enkies? Yep. Yeah, cool. Mm. Nice. Oh, I guess we'll see if it starts first and then decide what to do. Hmm. Like the Volkswagen's bleeding. <laughs> dust, <laughs> dust leaky auto. I always try and be funny in these videos, but I'm not that funny. So, yeah. That's my glasses case. Jesus Christ. Patina. <laughs> yeah, they make good sunglasses, but terrible cases. Mm. Get off my case. Get it? cameras everywhere man there's two over there one up here one in the car so i obviously don't want anyone stealing this thing nope. mm. and if they do then you'll have like a whole motion picture about it <coughs> mm. starring the idiot that stole it you ever thought about putting the other seat and changing it to groom sure. bride and groom no <coughs> it's locked the supercharger belt. What is that for? It's time belt. Oh, time, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Alright, well. Does it start? Let's find out. That's a good start.
down. You just want those front jacks down. About 11 years ago, big ass trophy. What was this trophy for? What's the trophy for? Uh, Mount Alma. Mount Alma. This uh, was an uh, outright four wheel drive. There you go, 2012. Fastest four wheel drive up Mount Alma. Technically, I won that one. Oh, yeah, controversially. Yep. Yeah. Well, actually. <laughs> actually. Yeah. You put all the caps back on? Yep. Sweet. Bunch of race work uh, stuff. Apart from the timbers. Shiver me timbers. Yeah. Yeah, we should be good. Alright, well, let's get it out. Yeah. Remember my sunglasses. Got the spare batteries for the GoPro. We're all good. ago when we pulled the fuel system out of this thing and there was like six months probably ten months ten ago. months oh it feels like six months yeah so it feels like one month ago um yeah it was like oh wow look Ford probe yeah it was like jello and crystallized E85 in the fuel system and now it drives yeah we're not doing that again That's it's super smooth like you can hardly even tell it's a GDR <laughs> <laughs> yeah So, all right, um, oh, Kapunda. So, like, a bit of a backstory here, because we didn't really get a chance to film a lot, because you were so busy, I was so busy. Um, and then all of a sudden your work decided to just send you off to another country. So, give me the hundred words or less. What did you actually have to do to get this car on the road again? Uh, full fuel system replacement, uh, ECU replacement, didn't have to do obviously given a birthday they needed oils front to back the rear diff uh, was a bit tired in its bearing carrier how many words am I up to um, and then just basically a tidy up all through interior back in at seats new dash yeah is that 100 words kind of and actually now I'm sitting in these seats these are quite nice what's the go with these seats uh, they're the bright carbon uh, copies that you can get from uh, these ones are from custom imports so shout out to those guys Super comfortable, recliner, ADR approved. And they fit the era and the, the kind of car it is, so yeah. Nice. And they look pretty cool and they're pretty comfy. I'm quite happy here, so. Mm. Nice. And uh, ECU was, what's go there? Uh, so it's got a Link G4X in it. Um, running a drive by wire throttle system from Daltone Racing. Their version 2, which is just brilliant. So get rid of all the idle up and rubbish that sits under the normal factory manifold and uh, all you do is run a, a drive-by-wire actuator and all of their little uh, billet uh, fittings that fit it all up. It's seamless, bolt-in, simple to uh, install. A little bit trickier on the electrical front but not difficult and uh, once it's all set up it's uh, it's a good thing. It'll uh, eventually give me the, uh, the capability for uh, blips and rev match on downshift with a sequential and obviously full throttle shifting as well. Uh, you can run it for cruise control, you can run it for launch control, which it does pretty well. Um, yeah, it's a really good system. It simplifies everything. funny looking like now in this car it's like you realize how old the GDR is mm. like they're just you know it's kind of it's missing the radio it is yeah that's the wiring for the radio the, uh, no, just kidding that's easy 26 FM <laughs> nice mm. all right well we're going for a drive and um, partly to go see some mates but um, also because it's 
almost one o'clock and I'm starving. So I better go uh, driving in the GDR to go get lunch. Hopefully I don't make it. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> is that boost control? Can I turn that up? Nah, it's full of drive control. Oh, that's what, that's for quick U-turns. Yeah. Nice. Careful, Box has got the camera out. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, so. Big trouble. What's that say? What does that say? Yeah. Ah. So, I mean, the idea was to keep it nice and tidy for anyone that opens the engine bay. Yeah. Kind of looks factory ish. It doesn't look over the top, no. So, why wear PPG gearbox? Because uh, eventually, the thing that converts the horsepower to the drive forwards is going to be a sequential six speed mm -hmm. from PPG. This guy here knows a bit about gearboxes, apparently. Just a couple of things. Yeah, yeah nice. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, yeah, it's it nice. does look very good. It looks very dated, like you know, it was very dated before and very 90s before. Yeah, mm. I didn't want to make it look too modern. No, it's I just neat. Polish the thing to the, to the moon, mm. that just look funny. Yeah, yeah they're, not, mm. they're not that type of car to get all polished up and chromed. And, I kinda, Depends I what part of Bankstown you live in though. So, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Depends on where it was stolen mm. from. That's what yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's, it's, it's one of those things where you go, do you keep it proper old school? And just leave it old school? Because I could have left the power of C in it. And, yeah. It was making similar power on that, but it's way more horrible now. Yeah. It's still recording. So the battery's almost dead, but yeah. plug here three footed monster just come off the roof well not this one the one that I'm holding but yeah so know. what are we having for lunch I don't know but I'm sure it'll be food oh, crap there's only nine percent battery left that's another dodgy quick video because we'll do more on this hopefully soon Andrew will be back again and we'll be able to get this thing out take it to roll racing I love the fact that it's still got the rego sticker on it from a hundred years ago, but because <laughs> rego stickers aren't even a thing anymore. But yeah, yeah good job. You, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's good. I mean, it's a shame we've only been able to go in a hundred k zone and give it a little quick squirt. But you know, them's the brakes and the rules, I guess. So um, yeah. But I'm uh, quite impressed. I think he's done a good job of considering what this looked like before, and it didn't look bad. It just looked dated uh, the lens caps on mate mm. yeah yeah it looked um not dated just old gdr style now it looks just neat and tidy so yeah job done for now and then uh hopefully next um we'll be giving it a bit of an aesthetic birthday cleaning up the body and picking some wheels to put on it or something like that and yeah if anyone's got a standard gdr front bumper they want to get rid of then hook us up thanks andrew And back into hibernation. This time in, with fuel stabilizer. With fuel stabilizer. Nice. Until next time. See you at roll racing. Which will eventually be wallet stabilizer. Wallet stabilizer. <laughs> yeah, not enough to replace the fuel system. Nice. <laughs>